somewhere to come and think and remember. For thousands of years, across many cultures, people have planted trees in memory of loved ones. And now Oliver is part of that great tradition. You saw... Ms. Jones, are you sure you're well enough to be here? I'm exactly where I need to be. Throughout the course of this trial, we've lifted the lid on a marriage. Now, every partnership is different, with varying dynamics, roles, and norms of behavior. But there are certain things that are common in all healthy relationships. Trust is perhaps the most important. A mutual understanding born of respect. The instinctive certainty that your partner will have your back and will put your well-being before their own. Without this invisible bond of loyalty, it's inevitable that any relationship will turn sour. Especially if one partner abuses that trust and betrays the person they profess to love in the worst possible way, recklessly, casually in full knowledge the hurt that it would cause. Now, we've all heard about his base appetites, but his infidelity only scratches the surface of his betrayal. He won his wife's trust, the trust of her friends. He inveigled himself into her life and into the community that she so loved, and once he was there, he abused that trust horribly picked off her friends and neighbors, one by one, making sure that she was as alone and isolated as possible so that he might bully and intimidate her more easily. Because power, not love, was what he craved above all. And Jeffrey Metcalf used that power to turn a strong-willed, spirited, articulate woman into a stammering shadow of her former self, riddled with self-doubt, who lived in fear of his wrath, and then ultimately for her life. I contend that she has been in prison long enough. So I urge you to set her free. Oh. Could have sworn it was in here. Oh, it was? My phone charger, the other one's got a dodgy cable. Are you sure you've not seen it? I haven't hidden it, if that's what you're getting at. Right, well, I'll get it when I come for my stuff later on. Oh, and Si's gonna take his gear to Peter's later. You make it sound so final. Well, cos it is. You're not thinking straight, yeah? Oh, come on, Nick. We've done this. I can't believe you're going, I wonder why we're kicking off late. Maybe the judge has forgotten to put his heated rollers in. Yeah, it's probably a good sign. Yeah. If anyone deserves a bit of good luck, it's Yasmin. All rise. <laughs> 